A fun comeback and rally in the eighth. Can you see that coming when the inning starts double double? Um, there's no way to really there's no way to really know. Um, you know, something like that is coming, but uh, I think we were pleased with the bats that we got from our guys all day. I think, um, you know, leaked through the ball pretty well for them. I think he mixed his pitch as well and kept us a little off balance. I also think we hit some balls hard and, you know, just couldn't get anything going at times. Um, and that's okay. That's that's always going to happen. But uh, I think we stayed on it and, and we went out there and, you know, in the later innings and I think continue to have the, the good quality of bats that we've had the whole game and it, it kind of broke out. And then once you take the lead, um, Trevor May in the ninth, first two hitters on, but then how did you see him sort of close the door? He went one, two, three after that. Well, I think he, um, you know, he really drove the fastball up in the zone and, and made some good pitches, and um, he's got good stuff. So I think when he makes those good quality pitches and executes what he's trying to do, um, it's tough on the hitters. And, uh, you know, he, he was, he kind of scattered it a little bit and, and, you know, probably kept the hitters uh, guessing and on their toes. But when it came down to making a good pitch, um, he he kind of stayed on the task and he, he made good pitches and, and he got them. But like I said, the, the stuff is good. I think it uh, it played well against, um, you know, the, the guys he was out there facing and, and he got the job done. I think he uh, gutted it out and did a nice, nice job. I know Longo got thrown out the one time, but what did you think about his hustle and the way it led to the uh, tie and run there? Well, he's a guy that's easy to trust out on the field and, um, in general, he makes really good decisions over and over again. He's, he's a good ball player with good instincts, good awareness, a lot of feel for what he's doing. Um, you know, I, I looked at uh, the guys on the bench after, you know, we made the one out on the bases, and then he didn't let that um, kind of slow him down in any way. He, he made, you know, the read that he thought was the good read the next time around and, and went out there and took an extra base. And uh, it's, But again, this is a guy that's, he's certainly, you know, beyond earned the trust of, of the staff. And he, he just does a, he does a good job and makes good decisions on a regular basis. How much have you guys encouraged the, those hustle doubles um, versus how much of that is just instinct? Uh, well, as players? I mean, Truthfully, I mean, a lot of our guys, when they hit a ball in the gap or they hit a ball that's uh, even a potential um, ball they can take an extra base on, a lot of them, a lot of them do it naturally. You know, we're not going to take any credit for for the, for the players doing that. I mean, that's that's a lot of them. I mean, the encouragement is there. I think that, that all of their teammates on the bench appreciate it when they see something like that. Um, but it's it's those guys wanting it, and you have to do that out of the box. I mean, you have to run hard out of the box, and and you know we have we have several guys that do that. They think double every time they hit a ball in the gap. Bob Kirkland was uh, Matt McGill's inning bouncing back and keeping that game closer right there. Yeah, Maddie Maddie did a nice job, and uh, talking about another guy with great stuff. And we see Maddie when he's when he's around the zone and making pitches and putting the ball where he wants. Um, it's a difficult at bat for most hitters. It's it's not a fun at bat. I can promise you that. So uh, he went out there and 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 did everything that you could ask him to do. He executed well, and I think he's uh, he's very pleased, and we're very pleased with what we saw.